Hey, what up, legends? How's it going? Kiwi and Bacon here. Now, today for the deck showcase, I'll be letting you guys in on a fantastic Haunter deck that was created and used by pro player Machamp in order to climb all the way up to the top of the legend ladder, top one on the Asia server, if I do remember correctly, which is absolutely a feat in itself, so congratulations, by the way. And uh, we'll be playing that on the ladder, trying to have some fun with it and climb a few ranks. But before we do anything, I do have to mention we have a giveaway coming up on Sunday. I originally intended to give away 7 Hearthstone card packs of the expansion of your choice to the winner. But since Blizzard was nice enough to come up with the... Uh, get in here bundle. I'm going to be giving away one of these bundles to one of you guys on Sunday So all you have to do to participate in the giveaway is to be subscribed to the channel Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel or else you're not eligible And then you leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know why you should win that bundle and I'll choose a winner from uh, the subscriber pool on Sunday, so good luck to everyone now as I was mentioning earlier, the fantastic deck. Here it is. It is Machamp's Hybrid Hunter. And when I mean hybrid, I mean it's actually a mix between control and face. So your goal is to early game flood the board with creatures, do as much damage as possible, hurt your enemy as much as you can, and then later in the game, you try to control the board and remove cards. And, you know, if you get to not kill your opponent if you're not able to, uh, then you're going to try to achieve Deathstalker, Rexar um, victory, basically. That's that's basically it. You're just trying to get as much value as, your, as uh, Deathstalker, Rexar, and completely dominate your opponent. That's how you win control matches. But before you get there, usually you're going to want to play very aggressively. So let me just go on ahead and show you guys the deck and hopefully you guys enjoy now if you do enjoy there's a like button somewhere on this video you could go click that it makes me pretty happy and it makes you better at hearthstone immediately so and keep in mind that this yes this deck is you know pretty aggressive and everything but you still have the emerald spell stone if you can place one of these on turn four you're pretty much good to go right so right now we have a fantastic curve I've got a Dire Mole to deal some damage to my opponent, slowly but surely. And then I've got a Wandering Monster as a 2-drop. I don't have a 3-drop, but I believe I could play the Explosive Trap. And then afterwards, on turn 4, I could coin out this fantastic Lesser Emerald Spellstone. Now, if my opponent was not playing Baku, um, Baku Rogue, I would have been able to Crackling Razor Maw on this dire mole and that could have been beautiful but unfortunately i believe he's just going to dagger into it because that's what that's what most rogues do nowadays so we'll have to deal with it but i believe that we we are going to be able to um, be fast enough to um control the board with our wolves which is quite important in my opinion all right so let's go oh and i've got both spell stones so not only can i play a spell stone on turn four with the coin but i can also play another one on turn five which is going to be devastating that's that's really something that you want to uh to get oh come on really but it doesn't kill anything Well, that Vicious Fledgling ain't going anywhere. Um, unless I could... Oh, I have. I'm I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I have to kill this. Uh, and then next turn, I can Explosive Trap and whatnot. But I would I would have rather play the, uh, the Explosive Trap there. Then again, I mean, it's easier this way. Because we can... Um, we can actually play the explosive trap right now and uh, just remove his creatures. So I can actually I can actually play the explosive trap. Right? 
buff up all of these guys, and then I can coin out an animal companion. I can go face. That works. That works just fine for me. And I've got my... I've got my spell stones. Oh, he's breeding there. Sure. Sure. Why not? Alright, so explosive trap, ghost face. That dies. I've got extra charge on my weapon, which is pretty neat. And, um... Well, yes, I'm at 18. But... I've got some wolves going on here. And, well, those wolves... They are going to hurt. They are going to hurt a lot. And so this is a very good board. And I can add on to that with the other spell stone. So that's going to be very, very difficult for my opponent to do anything about it. You are not welcome here. Well, he's not going. He's not going face completely. I would have preferred. I could play the spell stone right now, but I could also clear the board. How much damage do I have? I'm at twelve. I've got twelve plus my hero power. That's fourteen. Um, it's not enough. Let's uh, let's. Uh... Let's try some things here. Alright. Poison, we can kill this dragon. I can, I can, I can, uh, I can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can do this. We can... Kill this. Use my weapon to kill this. Then I can Hellmaster. I still have a big board. And then we can still trade next turn. And then afterwards, we can play our... Spellstone. So that works for me. What was that for? Oh, there you go. Alright, cool. So, that's a victory. Would have probably been a victory on turn 7. But, um... My opponent decided to leave the game because it was pretty much desperate for him at that time. Crackling Razor Maw is good. Though, you would much rather... Oh, yes, it's a priest. You'd much rather have a uh, Dire Maw... Let the hunt begin. And the Razor Maw, then just a Razor Maw, right? Or two Razor Maws would also work. I guess this double Razor Maw situation doesn't suck too much. Mm. Alright, so it's gonna be. Excuse me, it's gonna be coin, Razor Maw, into Razor Maw, into Bear Shark. Hopefully we get to somewhere there. Hopefully that works out for us. Never mind, he kills it. Hmm. Okay then. Then I'll just play the other Razor Maw. I, I I could wait, but I'd much rather have something on the board. He had double Shadow Word. Well, guess what? You can't kill. You can't kill this Bear Shark. I can guarantee you that right now. You cannot kill this bear shark. Can't kill it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, flanking strike is excellent here. Not only do I kill his 2-3, but I also keep my bear shark full health. Awesome. Yes, he would have died there. But it didn't. Um, Alright, so we can play a bear shark. We can hero power. Maximize hero power. That is quite important. We want to deal as much damage as possible to our opponent. With the least amount of card possible. Which is called efficiency, basically. He's got another holy... He's got another holy nova. Okay, sure, sure. Um, I'm going to steady shot again, maximizing damage. Not maximizing mana though. I, I'm pretty sad I didn't have anything. That's the third Holy Nova in three turns. Are you freaking serious? That's just not possible. Let's go ahead with this spell stone. There is no way that you're still running some more help. You know, some more. 
holy novas you might be able to run a scream or something which you definitely do because uh, why wouldn't you because why wouldn't you um let's go with a companion it is not it unfortunately it is not uh <laughs> it is not huffer which would have been quite fantastic but our opponent is still quite low quite low keep that in mind Warriors of the frozen excellent deadly excellent use of deadly shot here i love it let's go ahead deadly shot hero power boom boom down to eight I could have used this weapon. I do have a secret, though, so I'm trying to, again, maximize use of the weapon. That is in the way. Oh, and he's going to heal himself for five with Death Coil and two more with the Lesser Heal. So that's a thing that's going on. Okay, um, I'm going to... I'm just going to Deathstalker Rexar, actually. Since it doesn't seem like I'm going... He's playing Priest. It doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to gain as much value as possible doing this. Because, of course, he's being a little annoying person. Um, I'm going to run this Fledgling and this Boar into his face. That's going to be quite helpful to me. Now, if he decides to attack, I'm fine with that. Oh, crap. I'm not okay with this. Oh, no. What should I... Oh, no. Double... Double Lich King. Um, I don't think I can actually deal with this. Let me... Let me check in my bag of tricks. Um, okay. Uh, Nesting Rock is fine. I can Nesting Rock and Stone Skin Basilisk. Um, Divine Sheet, Poisonous, nah. Okay, so I can play this Wandering Monster. Play this, uh, fantastic wolf army and pass. He's getting a ton of value from those two Lich Kings. Um, that's just, that's just the thing that's going on right now. And I hate it. And uh, I did, I, I did not know that was going to be something that happened. Are you serious? Okay. Alright. Alright, he's got a mole. So he attacks face. Freezing trap. That's gone. I mean, it's, he, he still has those three Lich Kings on the board, so... Um... Yeah, that's a bit uh, that's a bit annoying. Okay, cool. He's got an army of Lich Kings. Whatever. He's got four of them. He's got four Lich Kings. You know what? What? What can I do against four Lich Kings? His hand is full with Death Knight cards. Yay. Okay, so let's try to get something interesting here. Nothing. Yay. Okay, cool. So basically, uh, we we attack here. I can attack here. Um, and here. Uh, unleash the hounds. That's six hounds, so I can kill... Three... Four, five. I can kill this. Then on top of this, I also have this zombiest, which means that I can kill this Lich King. And I'm down to 13, and he's got 11 freaking damage. I am very dead. <laughs> oh my god! Of course, he had anti-magic shell. Because, right, because this is just the thing that happens a, a lot of the times. 
<laughs> okay, okay, you got me, priest. I was I was thinking that this could be a this could be a little easy game, but um, no, apparently my opponent was running 12 billion Lich Kings, and we let him do it. Uh, it doesn't help that the three freaking Holy Novas destroyed me completely. I was not ready for triple Holy Nova entry into quadruple Lich King. This hand is beautiful. I will keep it. That is just that is just something that you you want to keep. This hand is amazing. I'm happy about this hand. Perfect curve. Well, perfect curve. Yeah, no, excuse me. Perfect curve would have been the Houndmaster instead of the the Wandering Monster, but uh, basically perfect hand. We've got double secret on turn four though, so that's a thing. Or I could just coin out, coin out Bear Shark. Yeah, I feel like I could do that too. Oh, there, there, wait, there it is. Yeah, I have to do it. I have to do the perfect, the perfect curve. So turn one, turn two, turn three into Houndmaster on turn four. Never mind. Coin out, coin out, Houndmaster, coin, Houndmaster. Yep, that's the thing that I did. No longer the perfect curve, however, it is still quite viable. My hand is disgusting. Lightning strike, sure. I can I can freezing trap. I can wandering monster. I also could have played the eagle horn bow, but I'd rather play it and play hero power at the same time. So that way you'll have a uh, a five mana three three, which is quite pathetic, um, stuck in your hand. So you I mean you can always play it. I don't recommend it. Now he must be scared for the um, the lesser emerald spellstone, which I do not have. Unfortunately, I just don't have it. This beast will not be tamed. All right. The end is coming. Here's a doomsayer. That is quite interesting. Um, I can play the eagle horn because I want. I kind of want to kill that. Uh, that Doomsayer right here. Keep in mind, since we played the um, the Freezing Trap first, the uh, Wandering Monster did not trigger. So that's pretty sweet. It depends in which order you play them, and, and I kind of like that about it. Play your traps in the right order, kids. It's important. Now, I'm assuming that this guy is actually running... A Katrina deck. At least that's what it seems to be. Sorry. It just seems like he's running Katrina and he'll be able to play her quite soon. I just wonder what he will be doing in the uh, other turns previously. He did not play any secrets. Is that an explosive? Is that an explosive trap? Does he actually have a trap? Nope, it's a high main. Interesting. Um, well, in that case, I'm going to play Houndmaster and Hero Power. Again, could use. I could use my weapon, but I will not, uh, since I could get another charge from it. Chain gang. Uh -huh. All right. Well, I do not mind that. I can play Unleash the Hounds. 
kill a thing. Right. Then use my hero power. My hero power, my weapon. And uh, finish him off. Exactly, though. Turn seven. That's quite simple. So it's, again, it's hybrid. So you, you play your early game stuff, you curve out fantastically well, you destroy your opponent. Or, if you don't, you try to get that Stalker Rexar and kind of survive. Which usually works, but uh, that uh, that priest, though, it could be worse. All right. Oh, there's the second secret. Perfect. Okay. So, on turn 5, we will be able to play our Spellstone and uh, inflict as much damage as possible. My only problem is that he's most likely going to be playing a freaking... A freaking taunt druid. Well, it's either that or token druid, right? I'm assuming it's taunt druid. Come on. What is this? Don't give me a 3-1. Too far with taunt. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I could I could uh I could see that. That's that's fair. Freezing trap. Face. And I can play my Eagle Horn Bow, and then whenever he attacks with something, I will get another charge from it. We've got the wolves. The wolves are going to be protected behind the taunt. Oh, hi there. Yep, no, not leaving that there. It is going to die. And on top of that, um, I've got wolves next turn, so it's fine. He is playing token now, so at least we know that. So we can keep the Unleash the Hounds, and we also have to keep the... Um, we have to try to get our, our um, Rexar as fast as possible. I like the fact that he either attacks with this and lose it, or he leaves it there and I can use my weapon on it. So either way, it's 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 fair for me. it's a fine situ situation for me. Is he attacking face? Yes. All right, cool. Which means I can play Houndmaster here. All right, so Houndmaster. There you go. There's the damage. That's what I'm talking about. Can he recover from this? Probably. Well, it depends. My board is nasty. You usually don't want to deal with something like this. It can be a, a little difficult. Even, even for a druid. It's a swipe. Into a another swipe. No, it's Wrath. Well, my friend, Wrath is not enough. I do have a actual crap load of damage. Here's that. Here's a kill command and a hero power, and you're dead. Turn seven. Pretty good curve once again. Oh wait, that, that works for me. Alright, so that's it for Machamp's Hybrid Hunter. We have not played Deathstalker Rexar. We have not had the chance or the opportunity to do so because in the games that we've, uh, that we've played, we either got completely crushed by a priest that got very, very lucky, or uh, we had a fantastic curve and we destroyed our opponents. There is a guide on Heart Pawn for this deck. You guys should definitely check it out. It's going to be in the description. Apart from that, thank you everyone for watching. I'm glad you were all here, and of course I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.